Hallelujah. God bless you, beloved. This is Apostle Samuel Hendricks coming to you today from Full Gospel Word of Faith Church on this February the 11th, 2024 of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ asking you to like, amen, this this take this video and also like all those that's coming forth. Give your vote, your thumbs up. You are blessing and you're honoring and you're loving God. You're giving God your praise and your vote. And we're giving God thanksgiving for you and we're praying for you and we, you pray for us. And we believe God's going to do something real great <coughs> and real awesome today in our lives. And we thank him. Amen for this day. And we thank you, amen, for participating in this day. Yeah. Amen. Because this is the day that the Lord has made and will continually to be given praise to him, <coughs> honor and glory, might and power and dominion and thanksgiving to him for being so faithful to us. Amen. 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 Go with me to the, to the book of Ephesians. We're going to start there. And when we read that, then you, we, will, we will go from that. And we'll be through in just a few moments. But in the process, we just give God the glory. Give him the praise. Amen. Ephesians, the first chapter. We're going to go further than we did last week. Last time we was in here, we were talking about, amen, the Lord's prayer, the model prayer that the Lord gave us. And then we went from the model prayer to where uh, an example, <coughs> Abraham's prayer. And now today we're going to also go into Moses' prayer, David's prayer. Possibly get a chance to, we'll go into Samuel and Jeremiah's prayer. But our desire is to have the glorious anointing and power of the Spirit on us and to pray for us to communicate with God, for us to open up and let God flow through us, through into this land, into us, and have his way. Amen. Ephesians, the first chapter, and I'm going to start with the 16th verse. Uh, cease not, I want you to say this with me. We're praying, we're praying. <clears throat> we're saying it, but we're praying this. So repeat after me as we're saying this. And as we're doing this, I want you to lift up whoever you have in mind, whatever, someone, loved one, family, friend, neighbor, enemy, whoever, whatever, associates, a stranger, whatever. Lift up, oh God, lift up our leaders, lift them up. The Bible tells us in Timothy, the first of all, the first of all in our prayers, pray for, for leaders, those in authority. Pray yeah. for God's yeah. peace and, and wisdom and, 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 and direction over their lives. And pray that the, amen, the spirit of wisdom and mercy and kindness and, and protection be over, 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 over them and over, over us to keep us so the chaos don't uh, inhabit our country. And, and, and pray for other countries, amen, so God can bring peace. We know peace is where the Lord is and chaos is where the enemy is, amen. So we will do that. And so it said now, we cease not, we cease not to, give thanks to give thanks for you. For you. Lord, we first give thanks to you. Lord, we first give thanks to and you. And then we give thanks for others. And we give thanks for others. Asking that the body of Christ, the body of Christ saints, of God, saints of God, the believers, the believers, the household of faith. The household of faith. And we also pray. And we also pray for the community. For the community. Surrounding the household of faith. And in this land. In this land. Pray, pray for God's glory, for God's glory to be increased, to be increased, and for those who are going through, and for those who are going through whatever they're suffering, whatever they're suffering, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, give thanks for you, give thanks for you, make mention of you, make mention of you in our prayers, in our prayers, that the God, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, the Father of glory, may give unto us, may give unto us the spirit of wisdom. The spirit of wisdom. And Revelation in the knowledge of Him, the eyes of our understanding being enlightened, that we may know what is the hope of His calling and what is the riches of the glory of His inheritance 
in us, in us the saints, the saints. And, what is, and what is the exceeding greatness, the exceeding greatness of his power, of his power to us what to us it's working and working in us, in us to us to and, us, and through us, and us to others to in the name of Jesus name because we believe, because we believe, believe in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus which he did, he did when he worked when he worked he wrought he wrought in Christ in Christ the Messiah the Messiah the anointed one, the anointed one when he raised him when he raised him from the dead from the dead that same power the same power working Working with, with, on, on, through, through us, us, and to others, and to others, so that in the name of Jesus, so that in the name of Jesus, the glory, the glory that's in Him, that's in Him, is in on us, is in on us, raised Him from the dead, raised Him from the dead. That he was, a, he's now, he is now seated at the right hand, seated at the right hand in the heavenly places, in the heavenly places, and was seated with him, was seated with him in authority, in authority, far above, far above all principalities, all principalities and power, and power and might, and might and dominion, and, dominion, and every name, and every name that is named, that is named not, only not only in this world, in this world, but also, but also in that, in that which is to come. Which is to come. And have put, and have put all, things all things under his feet. Under his feet. And gave him, and gave him to, be the head to be the head over all things. Over all things. To the church. To the church. Which we are. Which we are. His body. His body. Which is the fullness. Which is the fullness. His glory. His glory. Filling. Filling. And full. And full. Filling us. Filling us. To the full. To the full. And everywhere. And everywhere. His glory. His glory. Is displayed. It's displayed. It covers. It covers. It takes dominion. It takes dominion. It takes dominance. It takes dominance. Rulership. Rulership. It changes the atmosphere. It changes the atmosphere. Brings peace. Brings peace. Brings righteousness. Brings righteousness. Joy. Joy. Fullness. Fullness. Wholeness. Wholeness. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Amen. 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 Now let's go to the word a little further in Psalms 90. Turn in your Bibles to Psalms 90. This is the man of God, Moses. We're going to observe, look at, and partake of his prayer. This is the man that asked God, let me look at your form. I want to see what you look like. Psalms 90. He wanted to look. He wanted to see God. He'd been close to God. He obeyed God. And God told him, I, I, I can't let you look at me in my fullness. Because your work's not done. And, and one thing, your flesh is not prepared to do that because you could die. I could kill you. I don't want to do that. My presence is that glorious and your frailty of your, your 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 body, your human makeup is not able to look at me in my glory and be sustainable to sustain that. It will kill you. Mm -hmm. But what I will let you do, I'm going to pass by you. I'm going to put you in the cleft of the rock, put my hand over the, over the cleft. Mm -hmm. Why are you going to do that, Lord? Sisters, it ain't just y'all. All of us got that in us. We're curious to see. And the cat ain't got nothing on us. You know, the curiosity killed the cat. We want to see. And he want us to know, but it, it, we're just not able. He, in his glory, he, we can't take it. So, but he wants to, he, he want to be close to us. That's why he had to cloak himself when he came to visit the people of God. He had to cloak himself with a cloud so his glory wouldn't kill him. But he wanted to be near him. Mm -hmm. And he had already made a plan. God, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself, but he already made a plan. Mm -hmm. He made a plan where he could be with us. And with us with him. Bad, now, bad. Somebody bad. love you like that. We're talking about Valentine's Day. We're talking about showing love. He loved us. With a way you can't even describe. No, sir. But we just have to try. We gotta try. We can't just say I can't describe it and let it lay on the ground. We gotta go with it. We gotta take it 
and 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 and, and delve into it and and be and be partaker with it. Let it be partaker with us. Someone so awesome as that love us. He we came out of him. Did you know that we came out of God? You you were God's idea. You weren't your mom and daddy's idea. Uh-huh. You were God's idea because they were too. Mm -hmm. You were not no slime and no uh, uh, amoeba. You, you wasn't a sludge. And you wasn't none of that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You come out of God. Yeah. There's something to you. <clears throat> and until sin hit us, we were, we was in his, we, we was to his pleasure. And guess what? He didn't leave us like that. Thank God. Thank God. God mm -hmm. he, he prepares. He fix. He, re, he makes new. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. He don't do no band-aid patchwork. Yeah. He, he makes new. Yeah. And, and, and that's why we, it takes time. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. I got to get into this. But it, it, just when you get to thinking about that, you think about God. Oh, God, 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 God. He's so much. And yet he wants us to know him. Mm -hmm. It's not a mystery he wants us to be hidden and afraid of and always running. The fear of the Lord makes us to respect and honor him, reverence him, treat him with the due respect because he is it's dangerous to play with God. Yeah. And yet he loves you. Come on out of here, somebody. Mm -hmm. You something to him. He ain't trying to get rid of you. Because if he wants to get rid of you, it, it, ain't, it ain't nothing. But he wants you. Well, that's enough. You, it's free. That was a commercial. That was free. You won't get charged for that. Moses, the man of God, who asked God, let me look at your form. I want to know what you look like. And he says, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you. I'm going to put my hand, put you in the cliff of a rock. I got to put you in a place where I can secure you because, you know, we have that tendency since... Since, since Adam, God told Adam, don't eat from the tree because the day that you eat, you're going to surely die. Mm -hmm. And, and, the, and, the, and the, 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 the temptation of the flesh was, what do he mean? Go. What do he mean? That's confronting. That's doubting. That's, that's mm -hmm. defying. What do he mean? And say, and, but that, that was suggestion that came from somewhere. See, you got to watch suggestions that come to you, either by thought or somebody saying. You have to watch it. You got to be be on your guard. Be be watchful. The Bible says, gird up. Yeah. Gird up means straighten up. Get, get yourself clothed and be on guard. Uh -huh. Don't sloof and slop and, 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 and slump. Be, be aware. Be sharp. And don't just look and be dull and dumb in it, I mean, you know, dome and just let the stuff happen. When you see something, throw this in. I wouldn't have a dog. I don't care how big or little he is, if he can't do what he's what God gave him the ability to do. Run! If he's a little feist dog, I wouldn't have him if he can't open his mouth and, and say something when something that's not right. Mm -hmm. You got to be like just as good as that dog. Something ain't right, you need to say something. Well, I don't Amen. care. You bet you will. Amen. If you don't now, you will. It will. Amen. It's liable to be too late, but you will. And then when it's too late, nothing can be done. Mm -hmm. But when you care, say something. Do something. Mm -hmm. Cry out. That's why God says cry, cry loud and, and spare not. Tell my people. Uh -huh. Tell them, I'm not pleased. Stop that. Come to me. Turn to me. Trust me. Anyway, the man of God said, let me look at your form. He says, I'm going to put you in the cleft of the rock and I'm going to put my hand over the cleft so that you won't, so you won't be tempted. He said, then when I pass by, I'm going to let you look at all my goodness. What did that mean, looking at your goodness? I thought you said, let me see your form. The goodness of the Lord. God's, God's his, his makeup, his self, him, he is love. So love was passing, but love is glorious and love is awesome. Love is mighty. He is powerful. He is dreadful. He is terrible. He is too much. 
the, the, the mountains quake at his presence. Things happen at his presence. Mm -hmm. Mount Sinai, he come down on Mount Sinai, that mountain was just, big old mountain just shaking and quaking and burning because his presence is glorious. They said there was a ring burnt around that, that mountain. It's still there. But yet in all that, God being who is awesome, he, and, and they, the Bible says God is. Didn't say he has, it says he is. Say God is a consuming fire. Mm -hmm. So he burns fire. He burned up fire. So he said, I'll let, I'll, and then he, when he passed, it says all his goodness. So God's, God, the names, the name that depict who God is, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah, uh, my provider, my, my peace, uh, uh, Roha, the, the Lord, the spirit, uh, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord, the healer, all that passed him. He, he, he saw that. He saw the glory of that. That, the one of his form changed. That's one of Moses' form changed. Hair color and everything changed. You, you come in God's presence, you can't stay the same way. You don't get older and dried up. You get the glory is awesome. Say they had to put a veil on Moses mm -hmm. when he come down from seeing God. They had to put a veil over him to cover his face, cause to look at him. Now if we look at that light. We can look at it for a little bit. Uh -huh. No problem. Mm -hmm. You can't stare at the sun. The glory on Moses' face was like looking on the sun. Moses didn't do that. God did that. When you're with God, he does that to you. He, he, he illuminates you. He lights you up. Yes. You can be a fire all yourself, but he, he lights you up. Oh! Anyway, he said, listen to the man of God pray. He said, Lord, you have been our dwelling place. Now I'm reading this in the Amplified. I got it in the King James, but and you probably read the King James, but I'm reading the Amplified. He said, You have been our you have been our dwelling place, and it says our refuge in all generations. Uh -huh. That means folk before you and folk after you. While you're here and, and after you. You've been our dwelling. We said, I, well, I live on such and such street, Hampton Five. Whatever, whatever the street now. No, no, he ain't talking about that. He talking about your existence. He is our existence. Come on up out of here. Yeah, yeah. You have been our dwelling place yes, like, yeah. in all generation. Yes. Before the mountains were brought forth. Uh -huh. See, this is why he's telling you you came out of God. Are you hearing what he's saying? Yes, sir. Yeah. Listen to what he's saying. He's this this is the man of God that wrote the first five books of the Bible. He, revelation come to him and he wrote that. He wrote Genesis. Uh -huh. it, all of the first five books of the Bible come out of Moses. God gave that to him. Folks say, yeah, that's a writing from a man. You better be quiet. Uh -huh. You better pay attention. That's right. God kind enough to reveal himself to you. You need to look so you can see. Uh -huh. Don't keep avoiding him. See, when we when we are not in trouble, we we're avoiding him. Because the enemy say, don't look at it. See, it ain't, it's really, I don't know, I know, I know, I know. It's the weakness and the frailty of us. And yeah, we do have a, uh, 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 somebody to come and try to insist. I guess we won't get no further going with Moses. We're going to be done for the day. He insists on us. Suggest and insist. They suggest stuff and they insist that. It's like you ain't got no mind. You can't think for yourself. They got to tell you what to think. And you and you have a mind. You got to choose to say, that does not make sense. What am I talking about? <laughs> to, to avoid God. To avoid. Mm -hmm. He said, come unto me. Uh -huh. Never said, go from me. He never said. If, if he ever said, go from me, you, we, we, we had it. He says, Come unto me, all ye that labor in the heavy labor. Come unto me, all ye. He says, if you're you're thirsty, not just for food, and you're hungry, not just for substance, 
but you you want fullness in your life. Fullness. Fullness. Mm -hmm. And it ain't just having a lot of things. Because you can have a whole bunch of stuff and just be as lonely as can be. All yes, by sir. yourself. Yes, sir. Before the mountains were brought forth, or even you had formed and given birth to the earth. Mm. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, sir. So mm -hmm. we were in you. We was we come out of you. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Look at that. Yes. We came out of you. We came out of you. And the world. Now the earth is the ball that we're on. Mm -hmm. The world is the population of people in it. There's a difference. Even from everlasting to everlasting, mm -hmm. you are God. Wow. You turn men back to dust and corruption and say, return sons of the earth born to earth. What you mean? Bodies. Body. Go back to earth. Uh -huh. Earth to earth, dust to dust, dust to ashes to ashes. Yes. So he said, tells us that, well, you, you, okay, this body that we have has to be changed. We have to be glorified. This body, this particular body that we're living in right now cannot go into heaven. It has to be changed. It has to be transformed to get yes, in there. That's why we get born again on the inside. The spirit get born again, and your soul is being born again as we your soul is being born again as we get this word to make us think what the spirit inside of us knows and think. Uh -huh. Understand. Mm -hmm. But this soul get 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 combobulated sometimes. They're always thinking other stuff, stuff in the way. Folk come with some crazy harebrained ideas. <laughs> Things that ain't even God. That's not God. You have to hear that. They come up with some new stuff. Well, I got this. I learned this from an Eastern. What is Stop. It's a one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you know, you understand the numbers are in sequence. They come, huh? Does, does five come before one? No, sir. Does, does 10 come before five? No, no, sir. Always in sequence. Then you got A, B, C. Say, so why are you doing why are you doing elementary stuff? Because if we, if we can get elementary stuff, we can see plainly enough. The Bible says a child, a child can perceive better because an adult doesn't got so much stuff cluttered in their spirit and in their mind. When they want to when they want to look and understand something, they're always having stuff to come back and try to claw it out or, or draw them or distract them from looking clearly at what they need to see. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The older you done got. The more stuff you have received or gone through that the devil that you committed, committed and the devil helps us uh, uh, assist you in doing. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm still going to go on. Okay. <laughs> so he says here, <laughs> he says here, for a thousand years, in your sight, in your presence, is but as yesterday. Mm -hmm. How many years? Yeah. One thousand. Did I read that right? Yes. yes ah. it when it has already passed. Mm -hmm. So that's why he's called the Ancient of Days. That's why, because he is. There is no time and no age with God. Time don't have nothing to do with God. Time is on us. He put He put the clock on us. What the clock for? Because you could. I'm just gonna throw this in. I had a company. I won't call the name. I'm just gonna throw the experience out. I, I need some assistance. I need some help. I need some work in my home. I need plumbing work. That's all I'm gonna say. I need help. Well, we don't have no window when we gonna come. Well, how do I know when to come? We'll come when we call you. What's it? I'm naked and I need you now. When, how come you going? What went? How come you don't got no window? What you mean that you don't have a window? That means you you don't have no way to to to, to I can depict you gonna come. I need to know when you coming. So that's why God put a give us the clock so we can be aware and be on guard and be timely. You can't slag and drag and snoop. 
He he says, be sure, be be about business, be 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 faithful, be earnest. We earnest with our some of us earnest with their money, their titles. It's tight. You put your own bad adages on the end of that. Because they know money don't, you know, the trees that grow the money ain't out in the backyard no more. They've been all cut down. Ain't no more trees out there. With it. Is it? Anybody got, any, I just want to know, somebody may have some. I, you know, they, they say there's no new thing under the sun, but any, anybody, anybody got a tree in their backyard that's sprouting? Anybody? I guess. No, sir. Two? One? None? Nope. Nobody? Nope. I was just, I'm wondering. Since that don't real, uh, we don't have a window. We don't have a window. So I can't de depict when, the, when you come in or to, to be expecting you. See, God tells us he's coming mm -hmm. for us to be ready. Be aware. Don't be late. Don't be don't don't be like the five, five foolish virgins. F virgin. That means they were they were they they were accepted, but they rejected him because they didn't prepare. You can't prepare. I'll get to. I mean, what time you go to work? Well, they say we're all supposed to be there at eight o'clock, but I get there around five fifteen tonight. <laughs> what where you clock at? Who gave you a clock? You <laughs> How you to pick what you gonna do? You come at the time you want to? Is that what you're saying? I must not be making sense to nobody else. I'm going to go on to sleep. I'm still going to be right where I'm at. You ain't, I'm going to go right where I am. And where you, if you don't take me, I'm going with you. I'm going to get right through up in your face. I'm going to tell you. Listen, you, you, have to, you have to be about business. Business minded. God put a thing in your mind, your heart. Be about it. Let it be a drive. Let it be the force. But he's telling us here, he said, listen, he says, he says, a, a year, a, 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 a thousand years is that just, is but just like a yesterday, like one day mm -hmm. in the sight of God. Mm -hmm. When it is past. Or as a watch in the night. You carry away those disobedient people. Now he's he's referring to the flood. Uh-huh. He wasn't there at Noah's flood, but he got record. See, that's that's another thing. Records are important. Yes, sir. I know some people uh what do you call that? Uh make up records. They lie. They they change records. Or they or they leave stuff out so that the records don't get reported reported because they don't want that generation or that particular group of people to know. They keep it in, try to keep them in the dark. Can I tell y'all something? They ain't the only one making records. God makes records and he got somebody writing something you didn't know nothing about and he gonna get it. He, he might get skipped over some folk but it's gonna come down the line to them people that's supposed to come to because God is a faithful God and he make records for a purpose. Records identify you. Records tell you where you've been. And records, like I heard the other day, I've been saying it, now i got a witness with me. Thank you, Jesus, for the man of God. He's with you now, but I haven't heard it. <laughs> records tell about history, and history is not just records of what somebody said. History is his story. Mm -hmm. It's God's word being told. Come on up in here. Uh -huh. It's God's word. Yes. It's God telling us. I'm gonna keep trying to get, relate to you. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to get, uh -huh. get you involved. I'm get you will stir you up to get you come to me. Cause I'm gonna come, and if you're not ready, it's gonna be on you. And you can't say, Oh, I ain't got to do nobody to tell me. The Lord is not fair. I, I got got called off and. And now, uh, 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 you're going to have a witness. You may not have paid it no mind, but you got a witness. Somebody said something to you. You heard a word. And if you didn't pay attention, it's on you. But if you listen, if you pay attention, that's why I said, be ye, be ye watchful. Be prayerful. Watchful. Yes. 
So I thought we were talking about praying. This is the man of God. This is his prayer. What it says, what it says is the man of God's prayer. He's talking to God. And he's telling us. I, he's revelating to us. He's telling us. He says, get carried away those that disobedient people doomed to die within 40 years. As with the flood. Put anything in the scripture that y'all can relate to about the flood? No it then. They were as the sleep, vague, and forgotten as soon as they were gone. In other words, they were here and now they're gone. But we got a record through the scripture what was said. What that got to do with us? Because it can be repeated. But this time it ain't going to be done with water. It's going to be done with fire. I don't believe that. Okay. Hey, you in there too. <laughs> you, 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 didn't, you didn't dismiss nothing. You didn't cancel anything out by saying, I don't believe that. You, you just saying, this is the side I'm going to be on. I'm going to be on the side of disobedience. I refuse. I ain't going to believe or I heard the record. I choose not to accept that. Okay. So it says here. In the morning. They are like the grass. Which grow up. That's what your life. Morning is like life. Your day. Your life is like the morning. You grow up. And your life grows, grows, grows. The sunrise. You see new sunrise every day. There's another coming and going forth. And it says. It grow up in the morning and it flourish and it spring up and in the evening it's mown and cut down. It withers. It's mown and, and wither. It's cut and wither. We are as the Israelites in the wilderness are consumed by our anger, your anger. And by your wrath, and we troubled, we're overwhelmed, and we're frightened away. Why? Because he gave them a word. He told them what to do. Mm -hmm. But they kept falling. They had people in their midst. Mm -hmm. People in their midst. When they came out of Egypt, there were some Egyptians coming out with them. Some that was some part in the... Uh, Israelites because they were covenant people and some who were not. But guess what? They could have been immaculated in. They could have been put in in the in the in the in the in the, in the group if they had choose to believe. How can Rahab, who was not even born in Israel, but she heard stories. She heard. See, that's what God wants you to do. You can hear. He didn't have an ear. He didn't have a mind to follow after what he heard that the Spirit is revealing to him. She heard it. She said, I want to be all the people in, in, in that city, that great big old city, her and her household. And don't come tell me who's worthy and who's good. She's a prostitute. If you just, now I didn't say that to put her down. I'm just saying that. If the qualification come, God ain't looking for, because ain't nobody qualify anyway. Can I, let me stop right there. Mm -hmm. yeah, don't, don't none of us qualify. He, mm -hmm. he, we get in on Jesus. We, we're coming in on Jesus. Uh -huh. We come in, Jesus, I would say his coattail, but it ain't his coattail, by his blood. We get in through him. You ain't got to be in no other way. Right. Yo, my, my, family, my family heritage, all of us got PhDs. If you ain't saved, you're going to be uh, 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 H-E-L-L. -L. Mm -hmm. And that's not a put down on, on, on any degree or work that you've done. Thank God you worked that. But if you don't know him, when you close your eyes, you will know him, but it's too late then. Uh -huh. But he said, listen, Like the Israelites, they, they, they learned his wrath and they was overwhelmed. There. He said, our iniquity and our secret heart and its sin, which we would like to conceal even from ourselves, 
you have set in the revealed light of your countenance. The closer you get to God, the, the more we see the dependency we have on God. Because we don't we don't have no pride, no platform to stand on. That means we submitted to him because we he he wants us to depend on him because he is our savior. We, if you can save yourself, what what Jesus died for? Folks say, I, I've been in church 40 years. And you've been in church. Is, is the church in you? Is Jesus in you? If you in you in an organization, but if Jesus ain't in you, you ain't in the, you ain't the church. You a member. You're a member of something, but he ain't in you. You're not in him. Mm -hmm. But he, he, since you came out of him, he wants you to come back to be in him. Come on. Amen. Can I put that back there? Is that plain enough? Amen. So he says here, for all our days out here in this wilderness, where is that at on this planet? Mm -hmm. This place is a wilderness. Now, uh, I live at, I told you I live at, uh, what I say, 45th Street. I ain't talking about the place where you lay your body down at night. I'm talking about you, you, you pass through here. You're not going to stay here. This is not a place to say, I'm putting down roots and this is for it forever. Now you do that temporarily because one day you have to go. But as they say, he says here, which we would like to conceal even from ourselves, you have set in revelation, revealing light of your countenance for all our days out here in this wilderness, says Moses, pass away in your wrath. Amen. Well, is God mad at us? No. It's sin that he's mad at. He wants us. He loves you. He loves me. But we have to separate ourselves from sin. How do we do it? Through him. He has to do it. Yeah. You he didn't get us in the sin, but he can sure get us out. Mm -hmm. We we can get in the sin, but we can't get ourselves out. Nope. This is what he said. He says here, we spent our years as a tale that was told. It's like we live and people know the experience of our life and, and they talk about us on the different frames that they met and know us. And we, we are, whatever it is about our life, whatever we achieve, whatever has happened in our life is, is expressed. People talk about you. They tell about what you did. You can't say, well, I don't know about talking about me. Well, you gotta be invisible. But as long as you're visible, somebody's gonna say something about you. I know so-and-so, but well, you know, I've seen them go this way and go that way. So there's a tale told about it. But now, in Christ Jesus, where in you and you and him, they, they, can, they can hear and know and witness that you are a, a, a believer. You are, that's why your name is called Believer. Mm -hmm. Like he gave Peter a new name when he said, Thou art, thou, thou art Peter. You're Simon, but your name is going to be called Peter. Because you're going to be a chip off the rock. You're going to be, I've already put something in you. That's why that revelation came to you so you can be identified. Your identification is a believer. I don't care what it, you know, how pretty you look, how handsome you look, how well you can talk, how, whatever way you go, how you do, do you believe? Are you a believer? And believing don't just say you believe, you got to live a believing. Come on. And that's Christ in you, the hope of glory. You, you can't make yourself do that. You just, the Bible says, L-E-T, let your light so shine. Let what God put in you so, so glow, illuminate up. But he's, he's praying. And listen to what he says here. Like a tale that we're told, and we, for our, and I just said that, I jumped ahead on said, for our adults know we are doomed to die soon without reaching Canaan. And he was talking about the people. They're going to die because you know why? They were fighting Moses. What did they tell Moses? Some groups gathered up and say, hey, why don't you be our prophet? Why don't you lead us? I, I can do that. And they come, they're going to get to Jeff Moses, and they're going to say, well, we're going to get a coalition, a coup together. Coup means we're going to start 
our own band within the band. We're going to be a country within a country. And we're going to break out from y'all. And says, some of us want to go back to Egypt. And since we want to go back to Egypt, you too old right now. You, you even got so old. And we don't believe. See, that's the problem. You don't believe. We don't believe we're going to get to no promised land. We think you just brought us out here to kill us. No, no. No, no, just reject to go with Moses and them and stay, stay in Egypt. Egypt would accommodate you real good. They killed you right good. But when, with God, God gave you the promises. He got promises that he promised you that he's going to uh, make you a great nation. He's going to bless you. He's going to make you the people of God. You are his witnesses. You are his evangelists. You don't want to tell other folks that the true and living God that you can't see with your eyes is the living God that is here to help you, to bring you back to him. You came out of him, he wants you to come back to him. Come on. Yeah. He come to redeem you. So it says here, for our years, for our days are as years, and they are, uh, down, okay, when I say this, I'm going to say something here, right here. We mark this. People say, when you know we got 70, God promised us 70. He did not promise you 70 years. That's not his promise. You say it right there in the book. No, you didn't get it right. He ain't promised you 70 years. 70 years is where we fail to through the disobedience, and now we try and wait for the redemption, which is Jesus. Because God promised us. And we really say sometimes it was three, three score and ten, three, three scores. The scores is twenty. Three twenties make sixty, and ten makes seventy. So that's God's promise. No, it's not. No, it's not. That's what we fail to. That's why. Uh, but those of them live in nine hundred some years. Put nine hundred some years up to seventy years. How do they figure? Anybody? That got one one witness, maybe three? One and a half witness? <laughs> Anybody? But see, by the grace of God, well, I'm going to read it here. By the grace of God, you, you, you can have a 70 years, but you can have more than 70 years. So I don't want to live that long. You live as long as God say for you to live, as long as you're going to be a witness. Now, if you're living here, you're going to do your own thing. Well, uh, uh, hey, just be rebellious to your parents hate your parents, D disobey God's word, don't obey God and you can cut all your years down you can just whack them all off, I'm living too long well just cut them, just be disobedient and just cut, just you know they, there's a knife, it'll cut it'll cut, cut them years off you can do it or you can please God and live a life that's pleasing to him and he says with long life <laughs> That's longer than 70 years. With long life, he'll satisfy you and show you his salvation. His deliverance and his keeping. You see some folks a hundred and something years old say, Mama, 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 Mama May, how long how, how you live to be long back the years? How long? He said, she said, Well, first off, I honor the Lord. And I please, I do what the Lord say and then treat people right. Mm -hmm. Get first thing, give God the glory. I honor God and I treat people right. Yeah. Get along with folks. Forgive. Some of them speak up real fast because that's one of the things the enemy work with them again. Forgiveness, not forgiving. Hold the grudge. He says, forgive. Mm -hmm. I forgive folks. Let it go. Why? Because God tell you to. Why? Some think, well, if I forgive them, I'm letting them off the hook. No, no, you're not, you didn't. See, you that go show you don't have a clear understanding. Because you're thinking you you releasing them. And it's okay to release them. Why? Don't you know you bondage holding them in bondage? Huh? Mm -hmm. They may be free, but you're trying to hold them and they free. Ah! Right. You got the rope around them you think in your mind <laughs> and they go on, on being happy and you see them happy and you just miserable because they're happy <laughs> won't you be happy let them be happy and you be happy forgive the Lord say and you'll be forgiven come on see help yourself 
So he says here, for our days or years of three score years and ten, seventy years, or even if by reason of strength, four score years, eighty years, mm -hmm. yet in 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 their in 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 their pride, in the pride, pride is always folks going around boasting about themselves. Well, I wish Moses didn't pray this prayer. Well, he have to tell us, he have to let us see. Why, why is he? Because these are the things that's not pleasing to God that keeps us out. Mm -hmm. But God says, I'll help you over these things. I'll deliver you from them. That's not your lot anyway. That ain't the way you, well, I didn't make you for that. If you came out of him, he made you for a purpose. Come on. Come on now. Amen. I'm just going to use a, I'm going to use a name. I won't name them any particular car company that way. A Hootendiddle car. If you know there's one, then you, I, I must have missed it and got it. A Hootendiddle car. A Hootendiddle car is made to drive. It ain't made to walk on land. It ain't made to bark like a dog. It's not made to be put in a barn. It's not made to fly in the air. It's a car. It's an automobile. It's a vehicle that runs on, on the ground, operating on the ground. It's supposed to do that. But you find that thing barking or sounding like a horse, you say, this is crazy. That's weird. That ain't right. Come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he said he made you so that your, your life, but pride, which is that, in, that, that iniquity that's in us, that iniquity that says, I'm going to do this. Don't eat from the tree. I'm going to eat from this tree. Because somebody suggested it, and they said it's going to make me this. I'm already that, but now he's, he's telling me something to make me uh, disobey God, so I'm going to do something against that. In addition, additional years, only labor and sorrow. Well, you got why sorrow in it? Child, just you got good days, and you got what? Bad days. But even in the bad days, you're going to have good, your days are good. Why? Because you love God and you praise Him. See, that's why you continually praise God because no matter, we don't know what the next day going to be. We don't know that we come up there as an adver adverse situation coming. But guess what? Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Thank God it didn't stop there. It said, but the Lord will deliver him or her out of them all. Oh! See, he don't leave you without hope. He gives us some hope. He give, we have some confidence. We, we, we got some joy. Jesus is our joy. This world, because of sin, is in the wrong direction. But guess what? God says, he says, be of good cheer. I will overcome. Guess what? Since I have, I ain't living you that way. You're going to overcome too. But you got to believe. And you got to stick with it. So he's praying. He says, for it is soon gone and we fly away. We, our life is over. Listen, who knows the power of your anger? Who worthily corrects this braven of life, brief of life, with your uh, recondition of sin, a reckoning, recognition of sin? And, I, and your wrath, who who connects it with the reverent and worshipful fear that is due to you? So teach us. Here we go. He's asking. I realize we're in this mess. We're in this, we're in this mess. Uh -huh. But he says, listen. Lord, teach us to number our days. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Consider. Enjoy your birthdays. Celebrate your birthday. Appreciate God of your birthday. Give God the glory and thank other people that want to celebrate with you. I'm so glad you're here. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you have a birthday. Amen. I can see you again. I'm glad I got one. You can see me again. Mm -hmm. let's, have, let's enjoy us here. Yeah. Let's eat some googly goos. <laughs> <laughs> so he says here, he says here, so, so, so teach us to number our days. Uh, what am I? Got excited. So teach us to number our days, 
that we may that we may get uh, so that you can give us a heart of wisdom, a wise heart. A wise heart consider and does what's right. A wise heart keeps in line. And now I don't know about you, but I'm, I know a man. He want to act a fool, but he said, "He said I, I'm not going to act a fool. I could, but I ain't going to do it. You know what I'm not going to do? Because it's not going to benefit me, and it's not going to glorify God, and I'm not going to be profitable to someone else." I'm going to be, I'm going to submit myself to God. I'm going to say, Lord, you got to save me. Because see, Paul said this. He says, when I would do good, evil is present. The, the good that I would do, I don't do that. The evil that I shouldn't do, that I do. He said, who's going to deliver me from this body of death? He says, the Lord. Now, when he say deliver, it don't mean just take me out, but deliver me so I don't fail with these intentions to do evil. God is able to keep me from that mindset of doing that. He And this is a saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost apostle that wrote these. I got to have help from God. Not from some, and I ain't, I'm not wrong, I'm not mad at programs that help you to think plans where you can help yourself and help other folk. Nothing wrong with that. That ain't enough. You're going to need some help on the inside. God got to be your deliverer. Come on. Amen. I'm almost done. We're going to be through here in a minute. Teach us not my days. And he said, turn us, O Lord, from your fierce anger. How long revoke your sentence and, your, uh, and be compassionate and ease toward your servants. Oh, satisfy us with your mercy and loving kindness in the morning, now before we are older, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad in the poorest proportion of the days in which you have, you, you afflicted us, you corrected us. I don't know no child got a whoop and say, oh, daddy, whoop me again. Oh, mama, spank me again. Uh, Hit me right here. You missed the spot. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Do it again, Daddy. Hit me again, Daddy. Now, I ain't talking about abuse. I'm talking about correction, true right. correction in love mm -hmm. to get the child to submit to do the right thing. That's all. So, oh, don't whoop. You whooped your kid. We're going to call the police. All of y'all praise. Police and y'all both. And both y'all going to wind up in hell if you don't do what's right. Because you say, no, don't whoop him. Just send him out here we'll kill him. You ain't right neither. Anyway, that's free. That was free. You don't charge on that. Correction is good because it says the Lord even corrects you. Now who going to who gonna call the police on the Lord? Nobody. Nobody. Why he corrects you? Because he say he want you, he wants you to have his character and his attitude. That's right. I know you trees when they grow up, sometimes they grow, little saplings grow up, and then they get a little twist on, they start bending over. They have to take something, a stick or something, put it down there, and they bind into that so when he grow, he get back to growing straight up. But see, you and everybody's we on this all up, you see. You see, that road, you know, long, that road's here before you got here. <clears throat> that road's here while you're here. That road won't be here when you ain't here. Mm -hmm. So it's not that the road is bad. We travel down that road together. Mm -hmm. We need to know how to walk in that road, how that road not to be the changes, but we need to know what our purpose is and what we're supposed to do in the road. And God is the, he's the director and the guy. The Bible says he's the light. He's the, he guides my footsteps and he order my way. Sometimes I don't want to do what's right. Sometimes I got to say, Lord, you got to help me. I'm, I'm acting crazy. You understand that? Now leave me alone. I did myself. Huh? No, Lord, 
you know I, I, I have to have you here. I have to have your, your glory on my life. And I love you. And somebody said, well, you can't say you love the Lord. You act like that. Yeah. Let me see. What? Is your body made of synthetic? Did they, did they put a lab out there and they, and they made you? They made the house that your, your spirit is living in? Mm -hmm. Made of the same material everybody else's is. Mm -hmm. and, and when it expires, they don't, they don't put it in a glass case. Because it's going to deteriorate. It ain't going to stand there. That glass case is keep looking like it's looking. You keep pumping all kinds of preservatives on it. It's still going to change. You have to bury that. Mm -hmm. Now you say, you're being gruesome. And, no, no, I'm telling you, this is truth. You know, <coughs> truth. But, but, but it's the Lord that renews it. It's the Lord that keeps us. It's the Lord that preserves it. It's the Lord that keeps us from us. Sometimes us need to be this, kept from us. And guess what? In the process of that, he still loves you because he knows what you went through. The Bible says you don't know that he's been touched with the feelings of your infirmity. He suffered everything you went through so he can identify with you. That's why he can say to you, come unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I'm meek and lowly of heart, and you will find rest for your soul. Mm -hmm. So he says here, make us that proportion in the days in which you afflicted us and the years in which you, we have suffered evil. Let your work, the signs of your power, be revealed to your servant and your glorious majesty to their children. And let the beauty and delightful and favor of the Lord, our God, be upon us. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Confirm and establish your work of your hands. Yes, the work of your hands. Confirm and establish it upon us. How can Moses say that? Because he was the one that went up on the mountain and get those tablets. While he's up there, the folks that say they followed him, most of them did, but some of the folks that come out of Egypt down there saying, where is Moses said? He doesn't forsook us. He told you to wait. He couldn't tell you when he's coming back because God called him. He got to wait till he go and get his. He got to go and go. I tell you what. Y'all let him stay down here and y'all go up there. Y'all can't go up there. Y'all don't qualify. Yep. You get killed going up in God's presence. Mm -hmm. Especially right. if you ain't got the right attitude. Exactly. Moses had to... <coughs> you in the presence of the Lord, God said, take your shoes off, Moses. Because the ground that your feet is standing on is holy. And you can't walk in them sandals. You got to come here and be re let the re revelation of God come upon you. The, the, the openness and yieldedness to the Lord... And the closer, I tell you, the closer we get to God, the more we see the dependency we have on him. So I don't want to see that because I want to have my own control of my own life. I got my own plan. I got my idea of what I'm going to do. No, darling. Um, as John the Baptist says, not my will, but thy will be done. Let me decrease so you can increase. Why? Because there'd be a change of transformation. The closer we get to God, the more we want to be like the Lord. The more we want to be holy. The more we want to know, hey, we're here, but then we're on our way out of here. We're, we're, we're here, but we're not a part of here. Right. We, we're another, you are another generation. You are another people. You're in this land, but you ain't of this land. Come on up in here. Right. You used to be, but you've been changed. You got a new home. Ha ha. Your new address. Mm. Yeah. A new inside. A new yeah. understanding. A new intelligence. A new wisdom. A new glory. A new majesty done taken over you. Mm -hmm. That's why you can taste heaven and make you clap your hands. Make you say hallelujah. Yeah. Make you say thank you, Lord. Yeah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Moses say, let the, I'm going to read this last one, we cut. He says, let the beauty uh -huh. and delightfulness and favor of the Lord, our God, 
be upon us. Confirm and establish your work of your hands. Do you know he ain't talking about this ball we standing on? What ball? The earth. He talking about us. Yes, sir. Establish us. And the promises he gave, he meant them. He, he means that. You got to help establish that to me, Lord. Sometimes I don't want to get out of bed. Sometimes my flesh don't want to pray. Sometimes I, I, I don't want to read the word sometimes. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, ooh, pray for me like I'm praying for you. Ooh. <laughs> But you know what? Hey, hey, hey. He said, Extab you establish it, Lord. You establish it. That's why it says over in uh, 1 Thessalonians uh, 5 uh, uh, and uh, 16, 18, somewhere in there. He says, he says about the work, about establishing. He says, read it. Yeah, read it for me. Read it. Okay, I'm going to read it. Because I want, I, want, I want to be heard by the word. The word will say it. And then we go. We go. Let the word speak. Let the word speak. Come on. Can we let the word speak? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. If we let the word speak, I promise I'll quit. Okay. Thank you for saying that. You're so nice. You're some sweet people. I'm so thankful to God's people. It, you're so good. Amen. Now he says here, First Thessalonians uh, 5, First Thessalonians 5, it says, uh, Rejoice in the Lord. I'm in the 16th verse. Rejoice in the Lord. Pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the Spirit, despise not prophesying, prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. Abstain from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. I pray, God, your whole spirit, your whole soul, your whole body be preserved blameless until the coming of the Lord. Faithful is he. This is what I want to say to you. He's faithful, so he's making us faithful. Wow. Stand on your feet so we can close this out. <clears throat> he's faithful. And guess what he's doing? He's making you faithful. He's not letting it be. He's not just a display. So you can see him faithful. And he wants you to fail. That's a lie. He don't want you to fail. He wants you to succeed. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful in his sight. He made you for his glory. He loves you. He know all about you. He know, he know about you what you don't know. That's why he's trying to get you to see in me. Christ Jesus, you in me, me and you and you in me. He says, establish, faithful is he who has called us, who also will do it. He is faithful and he will do it. But, but we have to be a participant. We have to be willing. See, well, whatever the Lord say, what does he say? Say, say what he said then. Don't just say whatever he say. Know what he say. Say what he say. And say, Lord, I want, the, I, want the, I want that. I don't want nothing else. I want what your word say. Just like Mary said when the angel said to her, he said, he says, you're going you gonna to have a baby. So I ain't, I ain't got no man. I ain't got no husband. And I don't know how a baby going to come. And I, ain't got, I don't know that. Either. And then she, she asked him, say, how that's going to happen? He said, that thing, people, place or thing. He says, that thing that's going to come in you is the word of God. The spirit of God going to drop the word of God in you. And that holy thing in you is going to become the son of God. Mm -hmm. Then she said, let it happen. Just like you said. <laughs> that's what Moses was saying. Let it happen, God. Help us. Mm -hmm. This man had revelation. He says, faithfully he will do it. He will also do it. He will do it. And he will, he will finish that in you. He will do it. He will make it happen. He will keep you and establish you. Mm -hmm. He will do it. He will do it in you. He worketh. 
He's doing it. Now you're going to be, we work us together with him, the partakers with him. He said, he worketh the will and then he give you the do. He give you the ability to do the, the working, the will and the do of his own pleasure. Mm -hmm. You want to please him? Hang out with him. Get with him. Get involved. Stay in his face. Pray. 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 Lord, I want to do your will. Mm -hmm. Reveal to me. Open the, open it up to me. I know I heard apostle preach. And, and right now I seem kind of foggy. I'm getting it, but I see bits and pieces. That's good. The bits and pieces is, is, is waiting for you to draw nigh to him. So he can open them bits and pieces open. They come open. There's a there's a revelation that come forth out of them bits and pieces. The Bible says, here a little and there a little. The scripture, here a little, there a little. Why is it like that? Folks said, the word is contradictory. No, it's not. The reason you can't understand, because you know, you're trying to observe God from a distance. God, he don't fool with observance from a distance. You got to have a close-up revelation with him. You got to be partaker. Ah, if you don't partake... If, what did he say? He washed his feet. Peter said, oh, Lord, no, you don't wash my feet. He said, oh, okay, you, I'm going to wash them and you ain't going to get washed. Okay, if, if I don't wash your feet, you, you, you're you out. You're not with me. Peter said, whoa, Lord, don't just wash my feet. Do my head, do my feet, do everything. Don't leave nothing out. Make me totally wet. Get me totally. Uh -huh. Amen. Father, we thank you because of your word and your spirit, of your man of God, how the word of God through the man of God revealed to us that we're partakers of your glory. Yes, we see the dilemma of us, but we also see the exuberance, exciting love of God that gives us everlasting life. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you for Jesus who is, has come, who has made the way, who is the way, who has opened the door, who has part, made us partaker with God, who have, uh, uh, yeah, took, he took on us so we can take on you, take on him, and be partakers with you. Lord, let, let now your spirit minister to us. Let your word uh, revelate to us. Let your word open up to us. As Moses said in this word, he says now, uh, let the beauty and delightfulness and glory the favor of the Lord our God be upon us. Come on, Lord, be upon us. And confirm and establish. Establish me, fix us where we not fickle. We ain't going nowhere. Even when it takes time for it to develop more so we can see clearly, you still working. You working and making it happen. We can trust when we don't see no evidence just yet. We got the word. Hold fast to the word. The word ain't going to leave you down. It won't fail you. The word is able to bring forth. God said, I send my word and it won't come back without success. It will do what I sent it to do. So I know you're going to work it out in me. I trust you for it. I believe you for it. And you say, establish the work of your hands unto us. Establish us. Father, in Jesus' name, every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, every person listening and hearing this voice, hearing this word, revelate, open them up. Let them see that the, the deliberate power, the, the faithful power, the honest, holy power, the just stability power is working in us and through us and it's establishing us it's also healing i speak healing over these airways i speak healing i speak deliverance i speak deliverance to your spirit soul and body i say to you in jesus name joints come alive in jesus name be healed in jesus name i say to backs legs stomachs knees elbows pancreas in jesus name livers in Jesus' name. Kidneys, hallelujah. Brain, heart, mind, eyes, teeth, gums, sinuses, spine in Jesus' name. Be made whole. Nerve endings, nerves, blood vessels. Be made whole. 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 Be made whole in Jesus' name. By the power of the living Christ, who is the healer, 
Who is the deliverer? Who is the Lamb of God that take away the sin of the world? Let it be upon every soul. If there's one here that has not received you, ask the Lord to come into your life, give you of your sins. Be made whole and be saved and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. And until we meet again next time, God bless you again. Apostle Samuel Hendricks saying, God bless you. Pray. Seek God's face. Get broken before him. And until we meet again, bye-bye.